right, uh, proving to children that science isn't boring is an ongoing challenge, one being seized now as an event in East London. Yes, it's called the Big Bang Fair and it wants to inspire a new generation of young scientists and engineers and perhaps even discover the next Professor Brian Cox, perhaps Bill Gates. Tim Muffet is there with lots of people for us. Very good morning to you, Tim. Yes, good morning to you from the Big Bang Fair. This is the UK's largest celebration of science, engineering and tech for young people. And as you rightly say, the idea is to open people's eyes to the prospect of a career maybe in engineering. It's all about hands-on experiments. Let's have a quick chat to a man who knows a thing or two about science, especially on telly. It's Greg. Good morning. Greg, how are you doing? science presenter, how are you? Very good. How important is it that kids get involved and inspired by science at a young age? really important. I mean, you look at how important science and technology engineering mass is going to be in careers in the future and places like this just bring it all to life. As you can oh, see by these guys, guys doing that? some yeah, Alka-Seltzer yeah. rockets behind us. The CBI says that 60% of future jobs are all going to be down to science, technology, engineering and maths. Places like this, which is the largest celebration of science and engineering for young people, are really going to bring it alive. We're going to have 70,000 kids and adults through the door here over the next few days. Has it become a more interesting subject in the last couple of years? Or is it people like Brian Cox, have they, have they had an effect, do you think? I think so, yeah. I think we're riding a wave, really, in the popularity of science, which is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant shows on BBC and, and elsewhere and things like this that you know just get everyone a buzz and excitement about it and in a way I mean people say that the engineering sector is responsible for three times as many jobs as the retail sector things like that it's it's overlooked at its at our peril isn't it oh absolutely I mean we are world leaders and we want to stay there and in order for that to happen we've got to keep the the next generation excited about science and engineering okay, you're gonna get that generation excited over there I'm gonna show Thanks. you a quick experiment here.